Deep down I always knew uh, what I was going to do in life was going to be bigger than football. Um, I think it would be foolish to, to not think that. I think players that, that just want to be um, known as an athlete, I think, that, I think that's foolish because that's, uh, that, I don't believe that's what humans are made to do, just to be one thing. And I always knew that, that I wanted to, uh, to do a lot more than football. So when it got to the point where I realized that my time was my most important asset, it became very easy to, to say no to things that didn't align with, with where I saw myself going and what I needed to use my time for to get there. If you don't do what you want to do and what you love to do, you might as well just jump in your casket. And it sounds very harsh, but that's, I mean, that's the truth. I mean, I think the craziest thing that, that, that people have fallen into this, this belief system is this. You get a job because it, it, it pays the bills or you, or you make money from it. You don't care if you like it or not. You do this job um, to save up enough money to store it away, to retire, and have enough money to live on and then die. That's crazy to me. It's one I did very, very early on. It's a, it's a sunset with a lot of stars and a little house on a hill. And uh, when I was growing up, I grew up in a little trailer house out in the middle of nowhere. So when I painted this, it was, it was my house. Uh, I, you know, I saw it as the little trailer house out in the middle of nowhere. And I remember I'd always, uh, I'd always go look at the stars at night. Um, we lived out so far out in the country that, you know, light didn't impede the stars. Like you could see every star in the sky, it felt like. And, and I'd always look at the stars, and I remember I think that it was such a cool idea that so many people that have done great things looked at the same ex exact stars that, that I got, that I looked at, and and it was almost like for me, like looking at the stars, it was like the the ultimate like equalizer. Like if if whoever did any great thing in the world looked at the same sky I did and went on to be great, like it doesn't matter what situation I'm in now, like we're all the same. I could do the same thing. I think everybody, whatever you do, um, whether you're the garbage man, whether you're the construction guy, whether you're a doctor, you do it your best, you know, and that's your legacy. Um, people that have really left a mark with me, if you, if you just laid out their profession and, and asked other people what, how important it, of a profession that is, people would be like, oh, well, it's much cooler that you played in the NFL. But not really, because without that person who was the coach or who was the school cafeteria, I would have never played in the NFL. And, and, and I think about that, and, and it's really cool to be, to be known and to, and to have you know, people buy my art and, and all of that. But the, the, the best thing is being able to, being able to impact people, um, simply with the way I live my life. And I think that... I don't know, I think more people should kind of have that goal, with just like having a presence that is, that is attractive, that, uh, that people enjoy being around, and then being able to rub off on people in, in, a, good, in a positive way. I think that investing in people is like the best investment. I, I made the salsa initially um, for a thank you gift for the equipment staff when I was, when I was with the Steelers because they mailed some stuff off for me or something like that. And I was like, yeah, I'll bring you guys some salsa. And they were like, yeah, I mean, we, we can't, there's no good salsa up here. So I brought it in. Some of the players got their hands on it. And before I knew it, I was like taking orders like weekly, like who needs salsa this week? And it got to the point where I was like, guys, like I can't just keep just giving this to you for free. Like it's, I'm coming out of pocket to make it. It takes time, it's messy. Like I have to be compensated. So I was selling it to the guys on the team and it got to the point where I was like paying my rent with like salsa money. It's crazy. Now I'm, I run a salsa business <laughs> and that's one of the things I do, but I love it and it's fun and it's great. I'm so competitive, I want to take over every industry that I choose to. And that sounds crazy, but that's just how I am. Uh, I want to be, if I choose to do something, I don't want to be mediocre at it. In football, a lot of times, you know, the the work you put in, how hard you work. Uh, lots of times it's rewarded, but a lot of times it's not. Sometimes you might have uh, a player who's just better than you athletically. Maybe a coach likes him more. Maybe in the NFL they're getting 
paid more so a team's financially more committed. But in the business world, it's like if you go out and you hustle and you work more than other people and you work harder than other people and you put out a better product than other people, you'll be successful. Five or ten years from now, I mean, I don't know, I want to be a shark on Shark Tank. Um, I want to be the, I mean, I want to be the best me I could possibly be through my art or just painting all the time, like improvements and stuff that I see. Like I surprise myself and it's a good feeling because you know you worked for it and you know you deserve it.